Welcome to Patras, third largest city in Greece, largest in the Peloponnese, about three hours from Athens, and not your typical tourist destination. But let me tell you, there are plenty of good reasons to come here and visit, and graffiti is not one of them. So these are my nine reasons why you should come and visit Patras. Hope you enjoy. Reason number one to visit Patras in this very glamorous location, Patras has a very large ferry port. Now this is not all that Patras has, but this is probably the main reason you will come here. And these ferries, and they're big ferries, operated by Levante and Superfast and so on, they go to the Ionian Islands and they go to Italy. So if you want to go to uh, Ithaca or Zante or Kefalonia or Corfu in Greece, the Ionian Islands, then you can go from here in Patras and it's probably one of the best places to go from. The closest airport is Athens, and we're about three hours from Athens here. There is a train you can get, or you can get the KTEL buses, the public buses, from, I think, Kifisos in Athens, or you can get a hire car down here and obviously put the car on the ferry, particularly if you're going to the Ionian Islands, and take it with you. So number one reason for coming to Patras, but by no means the only reason, these ferries here. Reason number two, five kilometers from the ferry port, along the coast through the town. You come to what is essentially Patras Beach. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's the best beach in the world, but for a city, and it is a city, 161,000 people, there is a beach here. Um, today, it's a little bit blustery and blowy, you can probably see. Um, in the distance there, for those who are wondering, you have the Rio Anti-Rio Bridge. Now, this bridge connects the Peloponnese at the western end with effectively northern Greece. Uh, it spans the entrance to the Gulf of Corinth, which is a closed gulf, but obviously goes down to Corinth. But here you see the beach. And I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to tell you it's the best beach in the world. But if you live in Patras, if you come down to Patras to get the ferry, if you're going to explore some of the other reasons that I have highlighted for staying in Patras and not just getting straight on the ferry, then this beach is perhaps where you want to come to. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Reason number three. Patras is pretty unique actually in Greece in that it's not really a Greek town. Yes, it's in Greece. Yes, the Greeks built it, but it was an important Roman port town. Before the Romans came here, it was a little village, Arai, and then Old Arai became Patrai, which means Old Arai in Greek, and the Romans built here, and you can explore. They have an amphitheatre, they had a circus, they have an Odeon, there's an aqueduct, um, and you can explore the upper town. The town's split into two halves effectively. The upper town, up the hill, and literally you go up into the old town, and you can look over the new town from these very famous steps, for example, and you look at the Odeon, you look at the amphitheatre, you can explore and see that this was a very important staging post for the Romans going between Greece and Italy, just as it is today. The reason number four, Patras obviously is on the coast and from the ferry port all the way down for about five kilometers along the seafront, you have this rather nice promenade, this walk. It's not always perfect. It's a little bit industrial in places, but from the ferry port, you go down through parks, you come down to the marina where there are some very nice cafes and restaurants that you could stop at and you keep going until after four or five kilometers you get to a rather nice little beach. Not bad for Patras, not bad for a big city, Patras being the third largest city in Greece. So actually you don't just have to get on the ferry, there are other things to do here should you want to enjoy yourself, enjoy the seaside and perhaps just spend some time. Reason number five, perhaps a little bit morbid, but because the Romans were here, and because Christianity was here, and because St. Andrew came here, this is a very important place of pilgrimage, religious Christian pilgrimage, because this is the site at which St. Andrew was crucified by the Romans in about AD 70, and he was crucified on an X cross, a St. Andrew's cross, because he didn't feel he was worthy of being crucified in the same way, on the same cross as Jesus. And they built this fantastic Byzantine church here. It's the largest unsupported dome of any church in Greece, and is the third largest church in the Balkans. And it's all here because this is the point near the port in Patras in AD 70 that St. Andrew was taken by the Romans and crucified for his Christian beliefs. Reason number six 
is that, as I mentioned, Patras is the third largest city in Greece and the largest in the Peloponnese. And as such, you would expect it to have very good shopping. And it does, particularly down in the new town, down the hill in the new town that was built really after 1821, after the independence revolution in Greece. And it's centred around the main square, the King George I square, with these two fantastic fountains, which was planned and laid out after the Greek revolution. And the only thing I'd say is, unlike Kalamata, Kalamata also has very good shopping. Patras, you have to explore a bit. It's not in one location. It's off and spread around in different places. And being a very large city, it has different areas. So you might be better off either getting the bus or getting a car. It's not that easy to walk, for example, from George the second, first square down to the seafront. But the shops are up in the main town here, in the new town, and they're well worth exploring. If you want good Greek shopping, European shopping, outside Athens, this is one of the best places to come. Number seven, up in the old town, above the Roman ruins, Patras has a very, very nice Byzantine castle, dating from the sixth century originally, that you can go and explore. And it's actually fantastic. It's quite a big castle. You can climb right up to the top and you get these amazing views over Patras itself. And Uniquely, I think, for such a large place in Greece, Patras never actually had an Acropolis because, as I said, it was a very small village prior to the Romans coming here. But what it did have here was a Roman temple, which most certainly was converted to Christianity because the remains, the ruins that you see here, have Christian nomenclature all over it. So if you're interested in a little bit of history, a little bit of religion, some Byzantine um, castles, this is a really, really good place to come. There's also a fantastic museum, archaeological museum in Patras, a little bit out of town, um, but the second largest in Greece, outside Athens. Now, Patras is a very big university town, but don't let that put you off because it brings me to my reason number eight for coming here. Patras has a very vibrant nightlife. Welcome to Patras! It's carnival tonight, it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm working here in the night. Man. There are loads of restaurants, there are loads of bars, there are clubs outside Patras. And should you want to come and spend a night or two here, outside carnival season, and we'll talk about carnival in a minute, then Patras is a really vibrant place to do it. You can walk around in the evening, completely safe, fantastic environment, and have a pick of a large number of restaurants, different types of food. Obviously you get Greek, you get Italian, but there are other foods here as well. The place is big enough and there's a vibrant nightlife should you wish to go out clubbing, do some Greek nightlife, some Greek bazooki bars afterwards. Patras is a really good place for nightlife. Reason number nine, probably the thing Patras is most famous for, the Patras Carnival. This takes place every year between about mid-February and mid-March and is a series of celebratory events effectively, parades, carnival costume, floats, and it originates from the Roman times, from the god of Bacchus, the god of wine, and it was adapted by the Greeks into what is now one of the largest carnivals in Europe. And if you're going to come to Patras for one reason, you come for the Patras for Carnival. Forget the history, forget the Byzantine castle, the ferry port. If you have a chance to come in February, March and experience this carnival, it's a brilliant thing to do because it encapsulates everything that makes Patras such a fantastic place to visit. And I advise you, hope that you can come and experience it. So, I hope you've enjoyed my quick 10 reasons why you should actually come and visit Patras. May not be your typical tourist destination, but it is the largest city in the Peloponnese. It's got a fantastic coastline and actually a vibrant lifestyle as well. So if you have a chance, if you're exploring Greece, if you want something slightly different and you're not just coming here for the ferries, or even if you are coming here for the ferries, spend a day, explore, look at the sites, and I hope you watch some of my other videos soon. I'm going to be making more in the future and I hope you explore Greece. Thank you.